Men are like salmon, swimming upstream, hosing down the riverbed with their indiscriminate sea indiscriminate until sea. Did you just they say indiscriminate die, sea? loaded and spent, <laughs> belly up in the sun. Oh, quit sweet talking me, baby. Unless they get taken out by a bear paw in the waterfall, as they deserve so to be. So you're struggling with trust issues. I'm struggling with reality. What's your dessert policy? What? You want me to spare you the monologue? Oh, I really do. I figured. I'll get you some more water. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. I'll shut up and leave now. She hates my guts. Yeah, she does a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry about the other night. Why? Because I was behaving like the kind of type A career woman freak automaton that I so very much do not want to become. Please. I wanted to see you. Uh -huh. And I haven't felt that in a long time, and I just got all awkward and antagonistic. That's OK, as long as you didn't kill our fish. But don't get me wrong, I don't want to see you again until after the inauguration. You don't have to. I want to do my job. Yeah. I want to suck every morsel of meat off this experience before it's over. Just get something done, will you? Well, that'll come down to what it always comes down to. What's that? How dirty do my feet have to get without disappearing into the mud in order to get an inch of what I really want done? Doesn't sound very heroic. It's not. So what's the deal? You still creeped out by reporters or what? Why, you got another unholy bomb to drop on me? Is that what these dates are about? No, that was an attempt at a real date the other night. And this? It was another attempt. Hey, if I don't want to publish that story, I wouldn't have given you the heads up. I can't write that kind of crap anymore. I, I don't, I don't even know if I want to be a reporter anymore. Really? Doug Weston's libido broke the camel's back. Well, what do you want to do? I don't know. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Why'd you come here tonight? Because you made me promise to. Why'd you come? I wanted to see you. Thank you. You gonna do a magic trick? <laughs> uh, I, you know, I'm flying a little blind here. I'm halfway through my life, and I'm never quite sure if I'm doing anything right until I'm completely done doing, doing it wrong. Work with it. So this may not come out right. I forgive you. And incrementalism is not an option. I'm forced into a heroic posture. Heroic can be good. Feels funny. You can do it. Okay. Uh, we're both about to fall off a cliff. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my life, except I know what I don't want to do. And on Inauguration Day, you're going to be released from that glorious prison on Pennsylvania Avenue with... No human skills? Seems to me. I should punch you in the face, but yeah, That's okay. That's what I'm talking about. I'm keep going. So if I'm going to jump off the cliff, and you're gonna get pushed off the cliff. Why don't we hold hands on the way down? Shoot. Oh, turn it off. I can't, oh, yes. Just for a couple of seconds. Oh my God. You okay? Oh my God. I have to go. Okay. I have no, to no. go. Go, go. I'll see you later.